What's happening folks, it's Rob Z coming at you again and by popular demand, I'm gonna share another time management tip with you. So listen, I have conversations all the time, you have conversations with yourself, you have conversations with your peers all the time. Everyone is looking for that great time management solution, right? We're always, we're on the hamster wheel all day every day or we feel like there's not enough hours in our day to get anything done or we just wish we had more time or whatever, right? We've, we've, we've bought books and we've gone to trainings, you spent time with me, I've taught you to our solution, you got the fast guide to focus, and like everybody keeps buying training, keeps buying ideas, keeps trying new things, and then inevitably you go back to your old way. I'm gonna give you an idea, a thought process, a mindset shift that hopefully will help you either take the tools you have and actually implement them or go seek out the right one. So before we dive in, for more tips like this, if you're excited about this, go down, hit like and subscribe. I wanna make sure that you are getting our best information as soon as it comes out. You don't have to wait for blog posts. Okay, here's what I've noticed in the work that I've done with my clients and what we've done and the conversations we've had with folks all around us is people have things that they've done consciously and unconsciously for anywhere from years to decades. And right, wrong, or indifferent, you've got habits that you've formed and created that you continue to follow. Many of them, like I said, they're just unconscious. They're things that you just already done or you've always done. And you don't even know or, or recognize that there's a different way to do it. And so what happens is this is where the big disconnect is. You get this new training, you get this new approach, you get this new calendar, you get this new app, whatever it is, and you're trying to shove your old methodology into this new app. So what I want you to think about is when you're laying out your calendar, I want you, I want you to think about it like your phone, okay? When you go and get a phone, you know that it's constantly, consistently, you're making changes and updates to it in an effort to get it to work for you, okay? Out of the box approach doesn't always work for what you've been doing. More often than not, you gotta take this new approach, this new training, this new learning, this new app, whatever, You've got to see what's working for you about it. And then you've also got to see what's not working for you about using it. And then see if you can change the approach in a way that'll work better for you. Here's an example. The system that we teach to our clients and the system that you have access to through the Fast Guide to Focus, which I'll put a link down in, in the description below on how to get that. It's a seven step process for reprioritizing, restructuring, setting an intention and running your life instead of your life running you. The number one thing that we teach people to do as part of their two hour solution, well, I guess like the number two, the number one thing is actually have a meeting with yourself. The number two thing we teach people to do is to spend time reconnecting with what's most important to them, things like core values, purpose, vision, and goals. And if that's never been a part of your process, like that's really hard to do. So what you want to do is we have some people that like that's all they do is focus on that aspect of the two hour solution for one or two or three sessions, right? They understand how to time block. You understand how to take your calendar and say, I want to start working on this here and I want to stop working on it there. That's not rocket science. But the aspect, the most important thing is getting reconnected with what's most important to you in the first place and using that as an anchor for deciding what, where, why, how you're gonna actually approach your week. Well, for a lot of people, if you're unconsciously, if you're just not used to getting reconnected with what's most important to you first and you're trying to dive right in, you're gonna have a really hard time. So make the adjustment. Just spend one or two sessions only focusing on core values, purpose, vision, and goals before you dive in to uh, setting up your calendar. Uh, some people like they, they look at having equal parts of any of, you know, equal parts green time, equal parts red time, equal parts flex time. That's not the way it is either, right? Just spend one or two sessions getting really clear on how much green time you really need. Get really clear on what you wanna accomplish in that green time. Once you get good at that, then you can work on improving your approach to red time, flex time, recreation time, all those other ones as well. So again, what I want you to think about, the, the big lesson here is whatever lesson, whatever app, whatever tool, whatever calendar, whatever approach that you've learned and it hasn't worked for you, I'd encourage you to go back and, and look at it again and find out little ways you can tweak it to help you make it work for you in your current situation. You can find a happy medium where you can 
tweak or the approach and you can help uncover some of the unconscious habits that you might have that are getting in the way of you using that tool as effectively and as consistently as you possibly could. Speaking of tools, I'll tell you the most powerful one you can set yourself up with is the Fast Guide to Focus. Again, the link is going to be down in the description below. This is an outline, an overview. It's a guide on how to implement the two-hour solution, which is our proven time management system. The people who are using this are finding at least 10 extra hours every single week. So listen, go grab that, download it. It's free. Use it. Let me know, go in the comments below. Let me know what's working for you time management wise. Let me know what's not working for you time management wise. Let's get that addressed in a future video. In the meantime, make it a great rest of your day.